Let me talk to you a little bit about what baptism is, just in case this may be new to you. Um, baptism is a display of the gospel. In the same way that we partake of the Lord's Supper as a display of the gospel. One difference is that baptism is a one-time event in the life of the believer, and the Lord's Supper is an ongoing event in the life of the believer. So for these students who are being baptized today, uh, this is a singular event in their life. It represents something that's already happened in their heart. So as they come into the water, I'll be talking to them about that event. The event is that they have been united with Christ in the death of Christ. As they go under the water, it's a picture that they have been buried with Christ. And as they come out of the water, it's a demonstration that they now walk in a new life and they've been united in the resurrection of Christ. And so, this has already happened in their heart. And as the scripture tells us, as followers of Jesus, one of the first <laughs> steps of obedience is to be baptized. The Great Commission reminds us that we're going to make disciples to teach them, but to baptize them also in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so that's what we'll be doing today. And it's a particular honor to baptize these students, as I've gotten to know many of them. Today represents a day where they are no longer just our children, but they are now our brothers and sisters in Christ. So it's a special day. So first I want to ask uh, Michael to come. This is Michael Zulo. Michael, I want to ask you if you are trusting in Christ alone for the forgiveness of your sins. Yes. Amen. All right, Michael, upon your profession of faith in Christ Jesus, it's my privilege to baptize you now in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is, this is Curly Dornville. And we also have Kermit's Dornville, and we have Curly Dale Dornville. You guys come on out, brothers and sisters. Wonderful. Come on in, the water's fine. <laughs> Curly, are you trusting in Jesus Christ alone for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. Amen. Now, 
sister, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, buried in the likeness of Christ, raised to walk in the of life. This is Kendall and Hannah. Come on down. Kendall and Hannah Berry. How are we doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Awesome. Now, I know you're twins, but I, I, you still have to do you one at a time. I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you'll have to tell me who's who because I, you know, I'm terrible. This is, yeah. this is Hannah. We're going to do Hannah first. Hannah, are you trusting in Christ alone for the forgiveness of your sins? Yes. All right. Thank you. 